I'm a whole natural hair blogger, okay? You guys can't tell me nothing. Nothing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Majola. I look really crusty right now, but don't worry. It's actually, I look kind of cute still. Like, I don't know why my line I actually look cute. Like, what? And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this style. And honestly, the main reason why I'm recording this because obviously to make content, but I feel like I actually do stuff better when I do it on camera. I don't know why, but I tend to. So we're both learning. I've done my research though, and um, I've learned from a few other videos. Uh, let me actually shout them out before someone tells me I'm copying somebody. This YouTuber named Beauty Enthuse, I'm gonna link her channel down below. She actually has a really good tutorial. It's not the full thing of how she crocheted her hair but she shows how she curled it which helped me a lot so to start off this is my braiding pattern i just took my hair out of braids last night and then um i washed it and i braided it so i want a middle part and a side part right here that's why i braided it like this so these are the only really neat braids i put these two close together so that it's like that's important but here is the back this is the molly hair that i'm going to be using this is by equal the luxury the cuban twist one Cuban twist one. <laughs> so I have four packs. I hope that's enough. And these are 16 inches long. And I'm going to be using two packs of the purple flexi rods and two packs of the blue ones. And I have a Denman brush, but I cannot find it right now for the life of me. So I'm gonna try to use one of these three brushes, but I really think a Denman brush would be best and a blow dryer. The things that I'm using to moisturize the hair once I crochet it in are these products. This is our this is cream of nature argon oil leave-in conditioner, and this is the moisture recovery. Okay, guys. So at this point, I've already started crocheting my hair. I'm gonna link down below a crocheting tutorial that I find really helpful. But I'm gonna show you guys a little bit later how exactly I do the invisible part low crocheting to make my part look really natural. So the braid pattern that I showed you guys um, allows for a middle part like this and a side part. So I'm just finishing up the side part. As you can see, the middle part, let me see if it actually looks natural because this is honestly my first time doing Oh, this is here. It looks so big right now. I just wanted to make sure that I don't see any knots and that it kind of looks like it's growing out of my scalp. Hair is like art. It looks a little rough when you get started, but in the end, mmm, masterpiece. So what you wanna do is insert the crochet hook into the middle of the braid towards the part. So if I was on this side, the crochet hook would be going in this way. So on this side, the crochet hook is going in this way. And this is because this way, the invisible part looks more seamless. You guys will see. This is what's left of the four pack in half. I'm just gonna hook it. Bring it all the way through. Now I'm taking half of that and knotting it like so. When I bring this over, you won't see no knots. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish the rest of this side part. This is looking real cute or whatever. Okay, so next step is combing this out, but first, I'm gonna just go in and cut it because I want the top to be just a little bit shorter. This is not fast enough. Bigger scissors. There we go. This next part I think is one of the most important parts. I'm gonna brush and blow dry out all of the hair. These little ends that are stuck together like this, I'm going to try to straighten them out. I don't know if I should just cut them all out. Well, that worked. I basically just rough it up. Wish I had my Denman brush, cause I feel like, or a paddle brush, cause I feel like it would be a lot easier. 
but this isn't that bad. I'm using this blow dryer. This is from the Beauty Supply. I don't even know what brand it is. Ceramic Turbo Red 2000. I think this would actually be a lot easier with a blow drying brush, but I don't have that. So we're gonna improvise. I can get each section to look like this without actually having to blow dry it out. It's a lot easier to comb from the bottom to the top. rips off so easily so I went to the mall for a few hours and I came back and now I'm going to show you guys the curling process of this look I, this keeps me so warm So there are six flexi rods for one section. So I'm going to try to break this up into, I want it to be really, I want it to be really small sections though. I'm gonna add some water. Smooth it down. So to get the curl that I want, I'm gonna wrap it around like a wand curl on an iron and I'm not gonna lay it flat. I'm gonna make sure that it's like twisted. Okay, it's currently 1 a.m. I'm about to go boil some hot water and dip all of these into the hot water to basically set these up. Oh. See, this is why you should not do this on camera. This is just a thermos cup that I don't really use. So I've dipped about a quarter of these in my boiling hot water and this is why these bands come in so handy because I actually sometimes you can't tell which ones you've dipped or not. So to make it easier, every time I dip one, I just simply add it to the bunch. So I just blow dried my hair to make sure that it was all dry. I think it was pretty dry, I just wanted to make sure. So now I'm just going to unravel these and I'm gonna to try to be really careful. This one's 
wrapped up. Like the good thing about this hairstyle is that if any of them are stuck, I could just cut it because it's not expensive for the hair at all. Okay, now I'm just gonna go through each of these and just separate them a little bit. I kinda like it like this, but this no, it's not how it's supposed to look. I almost wanna leave it like this while I go to church. But this side looks bad. This side looks cute like this. High key, and this side looks like, what is you doing, baby? I'm just very gently, the ends I'm leaving together. Maybe I'm just gonna separate the top and leave the bottom because I don't necessarily want it like too big. The bottom ones can like stay intact. I'm just gonna clip some of these straggly ends. So yeah guys, this is the finished look. I like it so much. This gives me like high school vibes because I was obsessed with Tiana Taylor and I used to love big hair. But thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you guys learned something like I did. Um, I hope you guys take some of my tips and tell me if you try out this hairstyle. I'm gonna keep you guys posted in my next video on how long the curls actually last. I think I'm going to a wedding next weekend so I might recurl it. To keep this style, I think I'm just going to flip it over like the pineapple method. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like. To see more pictures, go on my Instagram at mojo la la la. It's linked down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Happy 24th birthday to me and thanks so much for supporting me. See you next time, guys.